Since the first discovery of dinosaur fossils, people have been fascinated, wondering what life would be like if prehistoric animals and humans coexisted. Who doesn't get carried away with the exciting concept of a giant lizard predator chasing them down the street? Or just because of the opportunity to wave to a passing stegosaurus? However, humans are already sharing the planet with species that are as old as dinosaurs and others that descended directly from them. Some of them have not changed much over the past tens of millions of years, while others are almost unrecognizable. That's what you came for, big, scary reptiles, right? Well, crocodiles share a common heritage with dinosaurs as part of a group known as archosaurs, ruling reptiles, that date back to the early Triassic period, 250 million years ago. Meanwhile, the earliest crocodile evolved about 95 million years ago, the end of the Cretaceous period. Modern crocodiles are descended from prehistoric alligators such as Deinosuchus, flying aquatic predators with a long snout, powerful tail and many, many teeth. Interestingly, apart from crocodiles, the only other archosaurs that are known to have survived to the modern era are birds. This means that crocodiles are closely related to ducks in your local pond. Be careful the next time you go to feed them, in case. Cassowaries judging only by its giant clawed paws, is easy to understand why people think that this giant bird originated directly from dinosaurs such as velociraptors. They are the third largest bird species in the world and are known to attack humans. These creatures can be found in northern Australia, Papua New Guinea and Indonesia. They have distinctive blue necks. Fun facts for you. Deuce green eggs and are also really good swimmers. 3. Tuatara. Here is an equally amazing beast, the only representative of a genetic lineage that originated in the early Triassic. Tuatars are members of the Rhynchocephalia group of reptiles, which flourished between 240 and 60 million years ago. They live on islands off the coast of New Zealand, eating bugs, spiders and snails as well as small birds, which they decapitate with their saw-like teeth. Tuatara can live for about 100 years, and are surprisingly tolerant of low temperatures. They could be called living dinosaurs, to illustrate how genetically isolated the Tuatara have become as a species. Let's look at some statistics. Point 3. There are 30,000 modern species in the amniotes vertebrates animal group, divided into six major groups, birds, at least 15,845, lizards and snakes, 1,078, mammals, 5,416 species, turtles, 341, crocodiles, 25, and the Tuatara proper, 1. 4. Sharks. In a sense, to think of sharks as modern dinosaurs is an insult to sharks because they are much older. Their ancestors evolved into recognizable shark-like forms more than 450 million years ago during the Silurian period. They have survived every major extinction since trilobites appeared in the seas. In contrast, dinosaurs are just a flash in the pan. With such a long lineage, the opportunities for diversity for in their structure and appearance are enormous. As among the many species on this list, lurking in the shark lineage are giants such as the megalodon. While we may think of hammerhead sharks as strange, T-shaped heads are nothing compared to the spiral-shaped tooth structure of Helicoprion the size of a dinner plate, or the anvil-shaped dorsal fin of Stethicanthus. Some shark species have even developed the ability to glow in the dark, make Jaws a very different movie from a visual point of view. 5. Lizards despite their common reptiloid origins going back millions of years and many common genetic traits, such as egg-laying, lizards and dinosaurs follow different developmental paths. This is most obvious when you consider their legs. If you imagine any of your favorite dinosaurs, their legs point straight toward the ground, like horses or humans. In contrast, lizards and crocodiles have legs spread apart. In fact, although the word dinosaur means terrible lizard, lizards are only distant relatives of archosaurs, having separated from a common ancestor when they first appeared in the late Triassic, and their snake cousins, called squamates continued to adapt and change, resulting in more than 10,000 living species and dozens extinct. Depending on the circumstances, lizards have managed to develop an amazing arsenal of abilities, swimming, gliding, climbing trees and hanging from ceilings, climbing steep surfaces, walking on water, losing and growing tails. Extraordinary adaptability was almost certainly the key to their survival during several significant extinctions. Crabs they are not descendants of dinosaurs or lizards or evolved into birds, but crabs deserve a special mention on this list for creating the kind of personal arsenal that, pound for pound, would make an ankylosaur think twice. Lobsters and other filter-feeding crustaceans appeared millions of years before the dinosaurs, and the creatures we call horseshoe crabs, closer to spiders than modern crabs, appeared about 450 million years ago. Real crabs are a dinosaur-era phenomenon, as they appeared on the scene between 200 and 150 million years ago thrived so much that scientists have named the period of their greatest diversity, in which 80% of today's crab groups developed. Cretaceous Crab Revolution, their diversification paved the way for crabs to inhabit a wide variety of environments. 
helped lay the groundwork for them to survive the mass extinction that wiped out three quarters of the plant and animal species on Earth, including the dinosaurs. As ostriches, cassowaries, kiwis, and emus belong to a group of large flightless birds called ratites. How are they related to dinosaurs? Ornithologist Peter Howd Six of the Smithsonian Institution has theorized that small dinosaurs evolved into small birds, some of which flew into environments where their success as a species depended on being on the ground. He believes that ratites evolved in reverse, losing their ability to fly, otherwise it would be impossible to explain their sudden appearance on a variety of island landmasses. Reverse evolution might also explain the furry feathers and reptilian jaw of the ostrich, which may have grown to its present size to fend off larger predators. Sea turtles. Turtles are extremely successful as a species. They belong to the testudin group of reptiles, including turtles, and land turtles from all continents except Antarctica, which have evolved to live on land and in salt and fresh water. They share a common ancestor with dinosaurs first appearing about 230 million years ago, and show remarkable resilience, given that their counterparts have been wiped out. Turtles also survived one mass extinction at the end of the Triassic period, which left evolutionary space for dinosaurs to evolve, as well as an extinction at the end of the Cretaceous period, which then wiped out the dinosaurs. These shells are clearly very robust because immediately after this catastrophe, turtles began to diversify greatly. There's some debate as to whether turtles are considered archosaurs or whether they are more closely related to snakes and lizards. They are. Harry Cleary of the Birmingham Museum explains the issue, they probably evolved from some reptile that gradually expanded its ribs and they became its shell. They don't have many informative transitional fossils. Chickens The evolutionary connection between dinosaurs and birds is well known, even in the not always scientifically accurate world of Jurassic Park. More recently, one particular dinosaur, T. rex, was found to share fundamental molecular structures with the common chicken. In 2003, Jack Horner and Mary Schweitzer attempted to retrieve a giant fossilized T. rex femur bone from an excavation. To do so they had to break the bone in half.8 inside they found molecules of the structural protein collagen, which takes different forms in different animals, acting as a kind of protein fingerprint. Since no other dinosaur collagen was available, compared the collagen of Tyrannosaurus with that of modern animals, including humans, mice and salmon. Closest match was found in chickens and ostriches, two species with surprisingly little in common genetically, with alligators coming in third. Snakes if any animal deserves the title of terrible lizard, it is the snake. They have inhabited our nightmares for so long, and are central to our phobic mythologies. Even the villainous Voldemort in Harry Potter has a snake as a pet. There is, as the Beatles would say, something about the way they move. The snake is another species that evolved to what we know it to be today, by getting rid of key assets primarily the legs, and a few bones in the skull that prevented full mobility. Point nine. The sea squid Pacarachis problematicus from the time of Cretaceous, is described by Michael Caldwell and Michael in nature. Might be considered a primitive snake.10 It has a slender elephant body, a mobile skull with extra joints for large prey, as well as a working pelvis and hind limbs. Oh, and if you don't already think snakes are creepy enough, consider this, as they have such a narrow body, snakes arrange their kidneys one in front of the other rather than side by side. For the same reason, snakes either prefer their right lung over their left, they make do with one. Leap tight. Oh, next time you see Chris Pratt trying to portray a velociraptor whisperer in Jurassic World, how much more realistic it would be if he were faced with three enraged emus or a crocodile. Walk around with dinosaurs all the time, and should be grateful and surprised that it continues.